Irish. <laughs> All right, Noel McGrath here with uh, Neil Siri ahead of his big fight this weekend, that UFC fight night. Robert testing, Sam. testing, <laughs> testing. <laughs> Tell me what. Don't like Mondays. <laughs> Huge fight, Neil. You're obviously enjoying yourself. Beautiful surroundings here in uh, Rotterdam. Um, biggest fight of your career on Sunday night against Kyochi Haraguchi? You better believe it, yeah. Big, big fight for me. You know, it's a tough test. He's um, serious. He's a serious fighter. Um, and it's going to be a fun fight. Definitely. A lot sort of changed for you in the last few months. You know, you've, you've had another kid. You, you've got married. Um, obviously enjoyed a bit of time off since... Uh, since the last outing. Sure did, yeah. That's right, got married, another kid. Had the boy a new seven seal. <laughs> I had to stop having kids. That was bastard kids, had my hair broke. <laughs> but, um, yeah, ah, life is good, you know. Yeah. Nah. It's been sort of a tough time, Neil, you know, for, for Irish mixed martial arts over the last few months with the incident, obviously, you know, here in Dublin. Um, you know, Paddy's obviously retired. I just want to get your thoughts, obviously, on Paddy. You know, I know you've sparred and worked before. He's had to announce mm. his retirement. Just, 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 what are your thoughts on Paddy as a, a performer and a mixed martial artist? Yeah, he was fantastic, wasn't he? As he, as he sent him a text, like to see him grow from a skinny redheaded lad into a skinny redheaded fighter that he is. You know, that he turned out to be. You know, Paddy was, you know, was, he was a fantastic fighter. You know, with fantastic heart. He did a lot of problems, obviously, he suffered with his back, he did operations, and he still managed to make it to the UFC and perform at the highest level, you know. So it was obviously a bit bad to see Paddy retire, but Paddy's a, he's an intelligent guy, you know, so he's going to move on to obviously bigger and better things. As I text him, you know, he's, he's got a gym up and going, coach, yeah. he's going to coach, he'll be a fantastic coach. He's a good all round guy. Look at you, Neil, and you, you sort of do, I know you're doing a bit of vlogging these days, and I think everyone's enjoying the vlogs. We've seen a different side, probably the, the real Neil Siri. I know you, you haven't been fond of the media in the past with the interviews with guys like me, etc. But, uh, you know, people are seeing that That's now. That's because I just hate you. Why do you hate me? It's the way you dress, come on. What's, what's wrong with the way you dress? <laughs> come, on. <laughs> come on now. In fairness, look at the jeans. <laughs> the fucking short. I've seen the better looking short on my ma's bleeding coffee table. <laughs> We look, we look at the, the cheers for that, Neil. Thanks no, for that. no problem. Um, we look at the division, the flyweight division now. And, you know, DJ, you know, he's cleared out, I think, one to six as in contenders. Kyochi's number five or six now. Is this a big fight that you've been waiting to have? You know, it's a testament to you, like the likes of Ian McCall, I spoke to Ian many a time, and Ian wanted to fight you. We're not sure what Ian's future is at the moment. Mm. Is that testament to the kind of fighter you are that people sort of want to fight you now these days? There's a lot of big names. Calling you, and now ultimately you're, you're getting that big name, Kyochi Haraguchi. Yeah, it's good. Look, I, after my last win, I asked for obviously a ranked fighter. I'm not in the rankings. Um, I'm sure Haraguchi was obviously given a, a list of names of who he wanted to fight next. Obviously, he took me and him would be an exciting fight, and you know, I'm just happy to turn up and perform again. You know, when's Andy getting in? He's not, he's not here yet. Honestly, don't give a rat's arse. <laughs> Andy, I suppose it's much better without him. He's walking around grumpy and uh, crying out of him. It's fucking pissing rain and bleeding particle. I'm delighted for them. <laughs> it's beautiful here. Yeah, it's great here, isn't it? Yeah. 15, 20 it's degrees. fucking pissing. They're all over there, white as ghosts. And we'll have a better tan here. <laughs> Neil, you know, with a win on, on Sunday night, um, y you know, ultimately, if you look at the way the division's gone, the ultimate fighter has obviously been pulled now this season. It was supposed to be the flyweights. The winner of that was getting a title shot. With a win here, you're going to elevate yourself, obviously, into the rankings. You know, is that almost enough to get a title shot if, if you win on Sunday? Because of the fact DJ's cleared out one to seven. Kyoshi's, I think, number six, five or six. He's had a shot last year, so. Yeah. No, we're not really thinking about that. You know, we've got a tough, tough test ahead of me, you know, on paper. Nobody can see me win this fight, you know. Bukis can't see me win the fight, so everybody's just more or less writing me off, you know, because Haraguchi is he's an elusive fighter. We all know how how he moves and how he gets in and out and how to how to stop that, you know. DJ, so obviously he gave DJ some problems, you know. So I'm not even thinking like with this way. You won't lose on Sunday. 
all that's forgotten about. So there's no point in really even talking about it. You're challenging for titles and shit like that, you know. You're just throwing egg in your face, really, you know. I have to perform on Sat or on Sunday. And um, just and after that, we'll take it. We'll take it on our stride. How do you approach, like you said there, you know, everyone's writing you off. The mindset is you obviously have to go in a little bit different. Um, if you're an underdog to being a favourite, has it still been the same? Have, have you done anything to, to prepare for that on Sunday? None of, you know, just prepared all the same all the time, you know. We always always head over to Pascal's in Blanchestown and mix it over there with the best professional boxers that Ireland has to offer, you know, like a great caliber gym, you know, I've got good training partners in my own gym, mm. you know, so uh, I've always done it, done it for the last two years since I've signed with the UFC and, you know, it's worked well for me, you know, and there was no t there's no point in changing anything up, you know. Things just got a bit harder, obviously, with bigger family and obviously you have to be there, you know, you have to obviously, you have to do things with the kids, you can't just push them on the side for, the, for three months if, every time you get a fight coming up and stuff, you know, so... Um, I just approached everything the same, you know, and nothing's gonna change for me come Sunday. I'm just gonna go out and fight my heart out like I always do. You always do that for sure, and you know, I think three of your last five fights for me have been have been fighting night. You got the bonus in Dublin. Is that what we're gonna see on Sunday? It's you know, on paper a lot of people are, are buzzing for this fight. You know, amongst the media, there's been a lot of guys talking. What fights you looking for? The Neil. And Kyoto Haraguchi has come up time and time again. Is that what we're going we're to see an explosive fight on Sunday night? Well, look, do you know what? I'm just going to go in there and do what I always do, you know? We get caught and put away. We get caught and put away, you know? That's why I try not to build things up, you know? Because anything, anything can happen in there. In, do you know mm. what I mean? Like, you could shoot, could look for a submission early. The fight could be over early. We have small gloves in our hands. No one knows who's gonna, what's going to happen, you know? So... I'm just looking forward to the fight, you know. I'm, get, I'm looking forward to getting in and testing myself against another young up and coming, mm. obviously st strong, good fighter. You know, I'm taking nothing away from him. I'm not gonna. I was here yesterday signing posters with him. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I'm not gonna start bullshitting and crying and fighting with people and stuff like that. It's not my thing, you know. I'm just gonna win the fight, my fight. Yeah. If it works out, well and good. If it doesn't, we'll just go back to the drawing board and start again. There's a lot of support which you, I think. You know, people, especially the flyweight division, a lot of people feel it's getting a little bit like the women's bantamweight division was in relation to, you know, uh, Ronda was tearing out the division until she met Holly. I think a lot of people are on your side because they want to see maybe a fresh contender coming into the mix. Mm. Does that, does, how do you feel about that for people who are possibly potentially winning to, to win this fight? Um, It's good to obviously have a lot of support and a lot of people rooting for me, you know, but it's not real, it means really fuck all when you when the, the door closes, you know what I mean? It's up to me then to perform, you know? So, a lot of people can't help me. <laughs> Even though I want to help, motherfuckers. <laughs> you know, they can't help me in there, you know what I mean? I just need to just get in there and fight my fight. You know, if I let Haraguchi fight his fight, I'm gonna lose the fight, hands down, yeah. you know? So I just need to get in there and uh, just go out and try finish fights like I always do, you know? I'm not thinking about anything else before it, after it. I'm just thinking about the fight on Sunday. Neil, it's always a pleasure, even though I know you don't like speaking to me, as you mentioned there, and you think I dress <laughs> terribly. <laughs> but it's always a pleasure, and that's a fight yeah. I'm very much looking forward to on, on Sunday. Everybody will Sunday understand. Just turn the camera around and have a look at your dress sense. <laughs> Come on now, stop messing. <laughs> yeah, here, here. But, uh, it's a fight I'm, always, I'm very much looking forward to. I appreciate the time, man, as always. Thanks, lads.